Hey everybody, how's it going? Joe Norell here. And today I want to talk about something that I think is really important, which is uh, on circumcision, a lot of guys as adults uh, who were left with their whole penis growing up uh, intact or uncircumcised, as they call it, um, think that maybe they should get circumcised as adults because they don't understand why they were left with a foreskin or they have some kind of issue such as a tight foreskin or they've been made fun of for their foreskin or told it's gross or smells bad or is unhygienic or that there's some kind of STDs that they might be getting from it. Um, and so I want to talk a little bit about uh, my understanding of this issue and I think it's really really important to have fully informed consent for adults um, considering circumcision. So here's what you need to understand about the procedure getting it done as an adult. Some men um, who get it done as an adult um, say that it's neutral or that it's maybe slightly positive, uh, especially men who have tight foreskins and who have not particularly sensitive foreskins, um, men who didn't have very good sex lives to start with, uh, and men who had a lot of anxiety and pain around um, the fact that they had a foreskin because they felt like it was wrong or bad or gross, um, tend to have sometimes neutral or slightly positive results because it clears up that anxiety and it makes them uh, feel better about it in that way. And um, even if it, if it has some harmful effects, those are slightly negated because they feel like they're more normal or they're problem of having a tight foreskin is corrected or if you have some other issue with it um, that may be fixed and so it's not at least not super negative um, on the other hand the problem is what a lot of men aren't informed of when they're considering any of this procedure is the men who have really bad results um, which are quite a number of men I've, I've spoken with some of them and uh, there's a not a bad chance that you lose most of the sensitivity in your penis because most of the nerve endings are actually in the foreskin. Most of the fine touch nerve endings, um, if you look at it, it's actually a lot like the clitoris. It has the same kind of nerve endings, and just like all of those nerve endings are in a woman are in the clitoris, and that's the main erogenous actually zone for her. In the same way, most of the nerve endings are in the guy's foreskin. That's where almost all of those nerve endings are in the penis. Um, and so, for that reason, you may not realize it, but it's really, really important for sensation. And it often, circumcision actually removes not only um, the foreskin, including the ridged band, which is the lips of the foreskin. You know, notice they're very ticklish and feel uh, really good when you just lightly touch them. Um, but also the ridged band underneath the foreskin is also sometimes removed and is always damaged and dries out because of circumcision. Um, and some guys don't realize this, that it will, that the ridge band will likely be damaged and, or at least be um, dried out and not as sensitive or be completely removed in some cases. Um, and really, with a circumcision, you can never know exactly what the results are until you do it. Um, and how exactly it's going to be done, how much foreskin is going to be removed. It's, um, you know, you get the best surgeon you can, but it's not always perfect results. Um, it also, another thing that happens a lot is guys will get circumcised and not realize how sensitive the head of their penis will be, or that it may be sensitive for many years afterwards and actually painful to to the touch for a very very long time um, and this can serve as a reminder of uh, how much sensitivity is lost and these the actual trauma that's around it which is uh, the main thing I want to get to here is that um, you may lose a lot of sensitivity you may not really enjoy sex anymore You're st I've heard a lot of guys who get circumcised and then they have mind-blowing, amazing, out-of-this-world orgasms, and now they uh, it's just a release of tension, which is how it is for a lot of circumcised guys. Um, they don't know what they're missing. 
and I know that orgasms can be felt in your whole body and not just be like a little like nothing um, that it is for a lot of cut guys that just last a second or two um, so that's that's a big risk another thing is a lot of circums I could go on and on circumcised guys often don't actually enjoy the whole sexual act because they don't have much feeling there uh, they can't feel their way in the side of the vagina um, some circumcised men as adults say it's like going from color vision to black and white because they lose so much sensitivity it's like going from bare skin to wearing a condom um, because you just can't feel anymore um, or it's like eating food and not being able to taste it because there's such a decrease in the sensation uh, the difference between night and day you know the analogies go on uh, from different cut men often they'll it seems I get a lot of people saying it's like going from a 10 out of 10 to a 3 out of 10 um, is the most common number I seem to get from guys cut as adults in terms of sexual sensitivity um, also masturbation is used pretty much universally worse I've never actually heard someone say they really didn't enjoy masturbation before getting circumcised and then afterwards it was great um, they always I've n always heard them say it gets worse so that's another thing to consider um, I have heard men intact as adults who have learned to love their penis who have um, you know read about other guys um, enjoying their penis or watched sex positive porn um, you know watched guys with foreskins enjoying their foreskins and women loving their foreskins there's a series called I think women who love foreskins it's the most horrifying thing on on the internet for circumcised guys because it's just um, each of them is like 90 minutes worth of material and it's just um, shot after shot of different women doing things to guys with foreskins and it's clear how much they enjoy it in every video and it's just mind-blowing that um, we can see this and you can understand that you can see that uh, it's it really feels that good and then not be able to have it and so um, I'd suggest watching those videos to see that you know it really is um, something that women can enjoy and that you can learn to enjoy and appreciate um, if you have a tight foreskin you can always stretch it there are stretching techniques and it may take time but um, I think you'll find that once you've done that it's really really worth it to have your foreskin because I just don't want to hear any more stories of men who get circumcised as adults um, and how much they hate it, how much they um, this is the part I wanted to get to actually become depressed over it um, relationships end because the sex doesn't feel good anymore for the guy um, the guys will develop post-traumatic stress disorder um, often quite severely to the point where they can't think about sex, they're asexual, they avoid um, anything related to sex and thinking about it makes them extremely extremely upset um, and so that's another another risk that you need to understand some men even um, go as far as to take their lives because they've lost so much um, and it's so so upsetting it's hard to express how upsetting it is to lose your sexuality to not be able to have sex and enjoy it anymore it's really pretty horrific and um, so that's another risk you have to consider when if you're thinking do I want to get circumcised it may cause depression it may cause suicidality it may cause post-traumatic stress disorder um, and doctors won't tell you this, doctors won't tell you about the sensitivity, doctors won't tell you about so many aspects of it and a lot of men don't want to talk about it either because they don't want to admit they've been damaged, they don't want to talk about the fact that they let someone cut off part of their penis and that now they don't feel like a man anymore uh, they don't want to talk about 
feeling weak, feeling emotionally, um, you know, traumatized, going from being a normal, uh, happy, sexual being to being totally depressed, not able to function in life, um, and not able to have sex and enjoy it. Um, it's really, it's really, really sad. It's really horrible. And men need to be informed about this and about all these risks because if you want to get circumcised as an adult that's absolutely your choice but you need to be informed that these things are total possibilities that they happen to a lot of men and that none of these men thought that that was going to happen when they did it uh, most of them had no idea that any of these things were possible and if they had they pr a lot of them I think probably wouldn't have done it um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, again, my recommendation is just don't get circumcised. Never circumcise your child because they can still experience all of these symptoms uh, growing up and being extremely upset, and there's really no risk to leaving the foreskin intact. It doesn't reduce any STD rates. It's not good for you in any way. It causes medial stenosis, which is the narrowing of your urethra, which makes it painful when you pee. Um, your head gets keratinized and as you age you know the skin gets less and less sensitive so it's um, not good in that way because you basically develop a callus on your on the head of your penis and uh, you're losing all those nerves um, you know you don't know what you're missing if you get circumcised as a baby um, but you can still read about it and get equally traumatized and kill yourself because of it and men have um, have gotten circumcised as infants, so don't don't circumcise your kids. It's it should be up to them. They can always do it as an adults when they're aware of the risks. Um, but very very few men do. You know, most of the men in the world are intact, and most of them love it and most of them appreciate it. It's sad that we live in a circumcising culture here in the U.S. where, you know, we're shamed for that, or where men are taught that that's gross or that there's some some weird hygiene risk with it it's, it's as absurd as telling females that your labia are gross and build up smegma and should be cut off because they're disgusting I mean yeah it's true they're kind of gross but like wash it off with water then don't cut it off please don't cut your vaginas or your penises it's it's a stupid thing to do um you know, I think most of most people's partners would also prefer intact genitalia if they at least stopped for a second to think about it. You know, it's it's just wrong to alter our bodies in that way. I mean, unless you really, really want to, like, if that's your fetish, if that's your thing, go for it. But I'd rather be intact. I'd rather be with an intact partner. Um, and that should be everyone's choice. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions about uh, circumcisions, risks, um, informed consent, and how we can spread the word about this and make it so that every doctor informs every patient about all of these risks, whether it's an infant or an adult, um, then yeah, let's, let's do everything we can to make that happen. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll talk to you tomorrow.